All right, guys. So uh, going on with the aftermarket wheel install. Um, I apologize for this. I've done this months ago now. Okay, I got a Grip Royal uh, wheel and uh, Energy Quick Release hub and uh, everything like that. Got it all months ago. Recorded everything. Had it ready to go. And then, as you guys remember, um, my daily got broken into. Someone smashed the rear window out. So they kind of messed it up. So it is what it is. But all that footage got taken because it was on my computer. So I'm going to kind of, it's going to go back and forth a little bit from what I did have to now. So I just want to let you guys know. Um, this is the Grip Royal aftermarket wheel install. Um, back and forth. So stay tuned. Here we go. This year I got the uh, Grip Royal wheel, the uh, Royal Grain. Uh, I'll be able to unbox that in a couple seconds. Uh, the Energy 2.5 quick release with the Energy short hub. And then also the uh, horn and a uh, little gold piece that goes around the circle um, for the horn. So yeah, so uh, let's start with the wheel here. And look key there. So this is the wheel. This thing looks mint. I like it. Oh, it says it's approved, so it's got to be approved. But yeah, no, this thing is clean. I like it. Uh, the wheel comes with some Allen keys, a Grip Royal card. Um comes with the Allen bolts, some adapter pieces, and then the directions and warranty disclaimer. So uh, now we got the uh, the gold uh, tenth anniversary for the energy uh, quick releases the 2.5 so I already actually started playing with this a little bit and then uh, about the video and stuff so I, was, I thought about the video so I was like okay we gotta uh, make one of these for you guys but and this thing is sweet it's the gold one I thought the gold would look pretty good uh, with the wheel and since the car is like a more of like a red um, I think it would look really clean with it, so. Um, but yeah, you see this screw right here? That's where a safety button would be. You can see the hole a little bit right there. Yeah, let me see if I can. So there's a hole right there. Basically, I already, all, already took it out. It's just a safety spring. Um, here, let me get this thing in here. So this is what it comes with. You open it up. It's got some stickers, uh, a sizing chart, but this, this little uh, push button, and there's a little spring too. There it is. So, those two pieces go in this hole right here. It's kind of hard to see because the lighting, but that hole right there. So what you do is you loosen this up a little bit, put your finger on top of the screw so it doesn't go flying out. Uh, pull, pull this out, pull this off, and then the spring will be there. Pull that out. Um, you can take the screw out if you want to. I just left it in just so I wouldn't lose it. But um, but yeah. So that's that. That's just to like I said, make sure um, when you detach it off the hub. Um, and everything like that basically if you would need to push that button down and then pull if you wanted to uh, take the wheel off but like uh, I said as long as this is locked in you don't really need that safety uh, that safety pin as long as you're using common sense you're not trying to take it off when you're trying to drive but yeah so um, so there's that that and then uh, the uh, short hub. I'll show you exactly what the short hub looks in it like in a little bit. But I want to get into this. So I get this out of the way. So 
this in here for now. So now this is uh, the other stuff from Gripper Oil. So I ordered the wheel um, first, and then I found out that like you'd have to order the horn and the adapter piece separately. So um, basically, just gives you your invoice, um, gives you a little discount for the next time if you're gonna purchase anything, which I will be for the drift car. This is for the uh, 92 uh, daily, but give you a sticker that, then you get your horn and the uh, screw piece that screws into so it connects to the wheel uh, with the wiring. And then also to match, if I can pull this up here, is, the gold part that sits above the horn like this and then this sits on the wheel like that oh yeah that's gonna look sweet I love that so yeah so that's the setup um, yeah basically so what I'm gonna do now is uh, just hook this up so hook this up to this and then hook these up to that so basically what it's going to do actually is we're going to put this up first in the wheel like this and this and then we're going to put the screws through to screw to that um so there is something that you guys do need to know if you do get a grip royal wheel mixed with the uh energy setup uh you do need there's an adapter ring so it does it's sort of like this but it's a, a grip royal specific part basically what it is is uh it's actually like a spacer adapter that actually fits to this to this because i'll show you guys there's a trick uh to this whole thing um so when you put it on the hub the wheel will either sit cockeyed or this piece will sit cockeyed it won't be straight flush kind of a look so as i was saying if this screws in let's find these holes here kind of tough holding the camera but okay so right so we get this holes these fit but you see how the gold part does not sit flush like it's it's not straight so if that's the wheel straight see how it's cockeyed a little bit to the right basically what we want to do is rotate that gold piece a little bit like that and that won't actually affect anything it's on bearings so the bearings will just roll that piece a little bit and like I said since we don't have that uh, safety pin in there it won't be that big of an issue so that's a little trick so you don't have to go in and buy whatever much for that p that adapter piece or um, you don't have to drill into the hubs because people actually have been drilling into the hubs to make everything fit and I'm not about that life because I still want to keep it like somewhat mint and it doesn't look like it's a hack job so yeah so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna work on that to straighten all that out and once that's straightened out okay um and also guys i wanted to sh let you guys know these are this is for the horn so male and female uh parts and then these wires here are male and female also that connect straight to the horn so those guys all you have to do is bang bang i actually don't think you're gonna need these um wires maybe they just sent them in uh with the horn so i'm actually prop oh no yeah you do need them yeah i'm i'm wrong because those are both males and there's only a male and a female so yeah so then you do need these um like i said so you'll connect this male to a female and then that female to a male and then those will both connect to that so that's what i'm going to do right now okay guys so that's what i did just wired those two up and uh Yep, so that's all we're going to do now. So then you're just going to center your piece here. And that's where you're going to uh, basically just tuck those wires in, put that down, and then put those uh, Allen keys through each hole. So, All right, guys. So present time here. Basically, um, how you're going to remove this wheel, I'm going to show you basically what I everything that you can have and how to do it. But... Um, this is basically what's going on here. So, um, what you're going to have to do is typically there's the uh, stock setup. So, I'll actually go in the car right now and show you the stock setup. 
All right, guys, so the first thing you do is uh, come in. You'll have the whole wheel set up here. Basically, what you want to do is take this panel off. So you got a screw here, a screw here. Sorry for the keys in the way. Screw there. And then there's going to be more also. Um, after you take those off, there'll be like two down low back here. So that's how that's held up. Then after that's off, you can actually get to take this piece off, this plastic piece. There's actually four screws there. If I can get, show you guys here. So there's a screw and then uh, there's more all around it. So take this off, a couple screws on here, screws there. So both those pieces will be off. Now um, you're gonna wanna take off the wheel. Taking off the wheel, um, first what you're gonna have to do is disconnect the airbag. So what you wanna do is go disconnect the battery. Once the battery is disconnected, uh, basically the airbag will be like, dis like it won't be able to go off in your face if you're like unplugging it or F something up. Unless you like drop it or slam it, then it possibly could go off. But yeah, so going from there, what we're gonna do now. All right guys, so you're here at the wheel now. Basically, it's gonna have the airbag here. Then it's gonna have some little plastic pieces right here. And what we're gonna have to do is take, uh, pop these plastic pieces off and they're gonna have non-tamper proof uh, screws right here. Right here. And also, right here. So you pop those off, take those out. I'm pretty sure they're T50 tamper proof. Um, and it's got the little divot. I actually have them in my toolbox. I'll show you guys. This is what it looks like. This is what they look like. I got this at O'Reilly's uh, Auto Store or whatever for like 15 bucks. And I'm pretty sure it's this guy or this guy. That's what it looks like. So go to O'Reilly's, pick them up. Don't go anywhere else because everywhere else is expensive, expensive, expensive. Uh, a couple places I went to, they are about uh, 40 to 50 bucks for the set. So I was like, F that. But yeah, so going back, take those off, take those tamper proofs off. Okay, now, going on from there, um, you'll be able to actually wiggle out the airbag. You can wiggle out, pull it out, and then you have these two here. All you gotta do is disconnect these two, and then the airbag will be off. And then, like I said, put it in a safe place if you're working on the car, just kind of put it down, put it away, just so, just don't drop it, be very careful. Then, what you can do is take this guy. Basically what you're gonna do, put this on here, and you're gonna wanna have to break it, so um, like break the uh, bolt off, because it's gonna be tight as shit. So um, you, there's different ways. Um, we, what I did is I locked the wheel, um, and then all I did was crank down on the thing. Then once you crank down on it, now this bolt is pushing back this and keeping this tight. So what you wanna do is uh, loosen it, Take you can take it fully off first, and then put a couple threads on, and then just literally start like pulling the wheel towards you, away from you, pushing it, slamming it, hitting it. Um, it's gonna take a little bit, but it'll come off. But if you keep this on the threads, the wheel won't come off in your face when you're pulling it. So, um, that's gonna be all set. And then going from there, um, yeah, and then your wheel, wheel's gonna be off. So then what you gotta do now is grab your short hub adapter, and then what you're gonna do with the short hub adapter is uh, there's an arrow on the top of it, and you're going to slide it on to this piece. There's teeth all around it, so you gotta slide it on and put it on in there. So now, so this is our short hub with the other piece connected to it, so this is the piece that goes with the, when you get it in the package, it'll come with the quick release already in it. So all you do is screw that into the uh, short hub. The short hub, like I said, it has an arrow on it and it's gonna be pointing straight. You wanna basically have your wheels straight as possible. Straight as possible. And then put make sure that arrow's straight. Now the reason why this has turned a little bit is, um. I played with it because the wheel, even with the wheel being straight, um, they make an adapter for this group, Royal does, it's, uh, it's like 60 bucks, but um, basically this wheel isn't straight. 
Um, when I'm driving, it, it's kind of curved a little bit. You can fix that, like I said, buying that adapter, but honestly, like it's not that big of a deal for me, um, for right now at least, because I'm not that picky. But yeah, you can get the adapter either through energy or uh, grip royal, whatever. Um, but yeah, so all you do is bolt these two on, bolt that on together. Um, then what you're gonna do is, uh, before you put this top plate on, you're gonna um, bolt this down with that nut um, that we had. You had to like shake the wheel with. You put that on, crank that on, and then put this piece on with all the screws into it. Did that, did that, and yeah. All you gotta do is grab the wheel um, and set it up. And this is the this is how you'll set it up. You're good to go. You're good to plug it in. Um, so now you guys do notice, like I said, it doesn't sit straight, so you can get that adapter at Grip Royal or Energy or whichever, Amazon, whatever you want to get. I'm just, when it comes to parts, I come, I wanted to match and picky, so I just don't have 60 bucks to spend right now. But when you do all this, okay, your airbag light will be on. So I'll show you. So that airbag light will be on um, because you disconnect the airbag. So. Um, with the airbag light being on, you can always go into the dash and uh, just pull that light bulb out, put a piece of tape over it, bang, that's what a lot of people said in the write-ups. Um, that, and then with the horn, my horn doesn't work right now. I hooked it up fine inside the hub, but you need to ground out the horn in the back piece of the hub. You'll see it's like a copper. You need to ground that end out, and that's how your horn will work. There's actually a part, um, a part uh, from a Honda Civic someone actually sent me um, through one of the Facebook groups and I'll post that right now. Those are the pictures how he set it up, so that's what I'm gonna do with this, and obviously I haven't done that now. Things installed, you will notice that your blinkers will work, but if you turn your wheel all the way, it doesn't engage it, so it won't go down by itself, so you have to put it down by yourself, like that. Um, the reason is, is because this hub, the short hub, so this guy, um, the prongs in the back, there's two prongs, they stick out pretty long, they look like little screws, uh, or like they're just like little studs. Basically, um, you have to take those out because they're too short and you have to screw in like a, like a long screw um, and like cut the head off of it. So then you can, basically when you turn your wheel, it'll engage the little uh, mechanism that will click this down or click this up. Yeah, so that's about it. Um, and then basically all you gotta do is just reverse the steps. Uh, so you can basically take the wheel off and then put this bad boy on, your plastic cover here. And then you put that guy back on and then yeah, you're good. And then you can put the wheel on and this is how it looks. So, yeah, so that's about it guys. Pretty simple.